Good evening all, I am Miklesh Yadav. In this video, I will be talking about how to identify a structural breakpoint in any particular series. A structural breakpoint is also known as a structural change, which is an unexpected shift in any particular series. The concept of a structural breakpoint has been developed by David Hendry. In this video, I have taken the series of rice production in India from 1950 to 19 from 1950 to 2007 Well, I will explain a structural change or a structural breakpoint with the help of four different steps. Now the question is why we talk about a structural breakpoint? Because if you are going to forecast or estimate any particular series, and if you do not take care of this, your forecasting or estimation will be inaccurate. Hence, we have to take care a structural breakpoint or a structural change in a series. So, a step first talks about installation of packages for a structural breakpoint, which is of a struck chains. In my art setup, I have already installed a struck chains package. So simply I upload it in library. I just write here library and a struck chains. Press on enter. Now a struck chains package is uploaded in library. Step number second talks about plot. So simply we can check of any particular series with the help of plot that either there is uh, ups or downs. It means simply you can say what is the moment of series. So I write here plot dot TS and my series that is of rice press on enter. So what you come to know? We come to know that there is a structural breakpoint like in this point, this point, this point, again this point and this point. These entire points are having a structural breakpoint or a structural change. I would like to confirm with the help of proper testing that either this series has a structural breakpoint or not. For the same, I can talk about a step number third. So a step number third is F states. So I simply write here F states and my series name on the basis of 1 from 0 0.01. So this 0 0.01 is nothing but our p value. So simply I write, I press on enter, then a series of model 1 has been created. So I write here SC test and my series which is model 1. Enter. Well, this is the outcome of a structural change which is denoted by SC test. The p value is less than 5%. Even it is less than 1%. So what is the 
null hypothesis? The null hypothesis for SC test is there is no structural change in a series and our p-value is less than 5%. Hence, hypothesis is rejected and we can say that there is a structural change in a series of rise. Now, I would like to know that in which year there is a structural change. For the same, we talk about step number 4 and the command is struct change double is to breakpoints and series that is of rise regress on 1. Press on enter. Well, this is the outcome of a struct change. What you come to know from this figure that there is breakpoint at observation number 8, 18, 30, 38 and finally 48. It means there are 5 breakpoints, there are 5 structural chains in a series of rise from 1952 to 2007 So, breakpoint at observation 8. It means observation 8 is of 1957-58. This point has a structural change. Similarly, Breakpoint in observation number 18, it means 1967-68 is also having a structural change. So, in this way, we talk about that in which year there is a structural change or a structural breakpoint. Thank you very much.